Hi, this is Andy from GPS Training, part of the Shepherd's Walks group of companies. In today's video, we're going to take a look at the GPS unit that we recommend to trail riders to use when out on the trails. From experience, we found this gets the best feedback from trail riders to use on the trail bike from comments that we get from trail riders themselves. The reason we recommend the unit that we're going to look at today, which is the Garmin Montana range of units, so I have the 610 in my hand here, and we also have the 680 available that has a camera, is because of the large screen, so it's got a good size screen for viewing when you're on the trail bike, I've got the full GB 1 to 50 mapping loaded on the unit here, which will show boats, byways, open to all traffic. I've got it in landscape mode, which I know trail riders find great when on the bike. But if we turn it round, you can also mount it on the bike in portrait mode. So it's a tough, rugged unit, waterproof rating to IP67, so it's got a good outdoor weather rating. The screen itself is a resistive glass screen, so it works from touch, but it will work with your gloves on. So the nice thing is, of course, if you're on a trail bike and you're wearing your gloves, you can zoom in and out on the screen using the plus and minus on the screen with your gloves on. So that's one of the advantages of a trail rider as we've got that resistive glass screen. So the unit's got the 1 to 50 mapping. We also supply the unit, if you do want more detailed mapping when you're trail riding, we have an option of full GB 1 to 25 ordnance survey mapping as well. The way the unit's powered, so if you're out all day on the trail, so if I just take the back off the unit, it has its own built-in Lion rechargeable battery that when you're at home, you can plug into a USB charger to charge. But what I'm also going to show you is a mount in this video that you can mount onto your bike and actually wire the unit into the battery on your trail bike so it can be charged when you're out in the field. If you ever have a problem with the battery and it hasn't lasted as long, um, you haven't had it charged as full as you expected and you need to change it, you can actually take the battery out and simply put three AA batteries in its place. So I'm just going to put the back, back on the unit and we'll turn it back round to the front of the unit. So I'll just get it the right way around there. So that's the unit with the mapping on. So what we find the trail riders like to use to mount it, there's two nice rugged mounts. I'm going to show you the first option which is simply a handlebar mount. Now the handlebar mount will go on a tubular bar on your bike of between 22 and 32 millimeters in diameter. I'm just going to open the box to show you what you get inside here and then we'll look at the second option of a mount. So I'll just put the box to one side. So we get a pack of anti-glare protective screen protectors for the unit. So you get three of those in with the handlebar mount. There's an instruction guide for fitting the mount. It's nice and easy. You just slide this mount out and it's a nice secure fit on the unit. So what you'll see on the back of the unit, we've got these holes that are going to line up with this mount. So we'll just line up the mount and then we'll lock it in place. We'll just get it the right way around. And that's it locked in place. Now what they've got on the mount, once it's locked in place, it's a real secure clamp to lock it in. You've got this little clip on the top to release it. There's actually a security screw on the top there. So you screw that screw down to stop anyone tampering and removing the device. And inside the packet that has the, the tubular mount to bolt onto your bars on your bike, there's actually a torque screwdriver that you can put on a key ring that you can use to screw that bolt down and unscrew it and you can put that on a key ring. So you do that, get that included in with the mount. So that's the standard bar mount that a lot of trail riders go for. Also gets used on the mountain bike with the same mount. But the other mount we're going to show you is called the rugged amps mount. So I'm just going to take this out of the box. Clamps onto the unit in the same way as the mount that we've got here. It actually comes with the screen protectors as well. So we'll just move that box to one side. So it comes with the screen protectors the same as the standard bar mount. So what you'll see with this mount, we've got cable attachments. I'll just slide it open. So this mount, again, it clamps onto the unit in the same way as the bar mount. But it has the cable attachments with a built-in inline fuse for your battery. It also gives you the option to put a headset in for if you're using it for road navigation. Now, I should have said on the unit itself, it actually has a headphone socket as well for getting a navigational 
directions only when used on the road not for the off-road navigation so you can't set up the unit for road navigation like a standard Nuvi unit now the thing with this mount is once it's on the unit you do need to purchase an additional ram mount which we'll, we, we will be stocking at gps training at the moment they're on a three week lead, lead time from garmin but you can find them from other sources but what you do is you bolt this amps mount onto a ram mount and i'm sure if you're using a trail bike you're familiar with ram mounts we've just got a picture here of the ram mount so the base plate of the ram mount has four bolt holes that line up with the back of this amps mount and then you've got the connection here on the ram mount that goes on the bars of your trail bike so i said this is the unit we found most successful for trail riders um the best feedback we get from trail riders is on this unit on any other unit that we sell so i hope you found this video useful and what we recommend is the best outdoor gps device to use for navigation when you're on a trail bike and thanks for watching.